Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this very quickly. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe so you can get more of my videos. We have 3x to the power of 2 equals 3x to the power of 2. What is here to solve? Let's bring this to the left and we're going to have 3x to the power of 2 minus 3x to the power of 2 this is equal to 0 because there's nothing on the right hand side again but the question is do you think this if you multiply, if you subtract them you're going to have 0 no because in this place we're having 3x multiplied by 3x and on the other hand we have 3x squared from here this 3 has no business with the power so everything is equal to 0. 3 times 3 will give 9. x times x will give x squared. Then minus 3x squared is equal to 0. Okay, so this is, um, this is simple. Because we can even decide to divide this by, by 3. We can reduce the equation. Divide by 3. So 3 will go with this. This will go there. So 3 goes here 3 times. We have 3x squared. Minus 3 will go here. We just have x squared. And then 0 divided by 3 is 0. Now the next target is... Okay, these are the same thing. 3x squared minus x squared will give us 2x squared. And that means that we have 0 there. First you divide by 2. Divide this by 2. So that this will go with this and then x squared will be equal to zero ordinarily we are supposed to say that square root of x squared is equal to plus or minus square root of zero square root of zero is going to give you zero so this will go with this and x is equal to square root of zero is zero so and there's nothing like minus or plus or minus zero so 0 is 0. So this means that the value of x is just um, 0. So if you put that into this, to the power of 2 equals 3x to the power of 2. Will it be balanced? This side, we're going to have 3 times 0. Okay, everything squared. And on the other hand, we have 3 times 0 squared. So from here, 3 times 0 is 0, then we have square on it. Then here, you will get the 0 first. 0 squared is 0, so we have 3 times 0. Now, we have 0 squared to be 0, and here we have 3 times 0 to be 0. So this means that we are very correct to say that the value of x is equal to 0. Thank you for watching.